Hello again, everybody. So, it's been a while again. Uh, there's been a lot that's been going on. Some good, some bad. Um, so, let's just jump right into it. So, we'll bring this over. As we all remember, my April didn't end too well, right? I started to get sloppy in here. And even on these two green days, I, I, I wasn't following rules. I was kind of jumping around with my share size taking 700 shares of this, 200 shares of that, 1200 shares of that. Um, I started to lose focus of my plan and I started looking way too much at the numbers. So this past week has been difficult. I didn't record anything from the past week. Uh, I don't think I've uploaded a video since what, the second or whenever I had these days here. So yeah, maybe, or no, 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 maybe not that long. But anyways, uh, I had some losses in there. I, like I said, I didn't record them. I wasn't trading very well. Um, I think my account, I honestly can't remember. It'll, it'll be in one of my older videos if anyone even cares to check. I don't, I don't really care. I don't want to know. Um, I think it was closer to 6,000 or something and I, I had to take 500 out and then I lost a thousand or something over the course of the last week. Uh, there was a lot of things outside of trading that was going on that was affecting my my decision making. I was I was acting really impulsive. Um, there was just like it's it's nothing too bad, but it, it's a lot of life uh, life events, let's call it, that happen to people, and I shouldn't have let it affect my trading. So that's my own fault. I completely uh, I completely own up to that. I didn't like it was no one else's fault but mine. So. Unfortunately, that's the case, but I think it's the kick that I needed to restart my discipline because discipline is what got me 15 green days in a row making $6,000. Now, again, it's not about the money, or it wasn't at that point because I was I was acting so disciplined. I was in the zone. You know, this this past week there was there was like like emergency, like medical emergencies, uh, like in the, like just so much shit happened. It, this isn't the place to talk about it, but uh, yeah, it just, there's a lot going on that was kind of influencing the way I was thinking and, and trading, like with my emotions and that, and we all know trading is pretty much 90% emotions, right? So I didn't have a hold of that. I wasn't in the zone. I wasn't following my strategy. So it's not the strategy's fault. It's my own fault. I, w I would miss a move that I would normally catch. Like, let's say, let's just use the chart that's in front of me. Let's say if I, I miss this first move here, um, you know, I'd be chasing the unhalt and buying up here and probably stopping out where before I would have already been in or I would recognize when it is safe and when it is not safe to get into a stock. Because once you have the correct entry, it's a lot easier to manage risk. So if you get in around here, you know that your stop is pretty much five cents away down here at 180 where the unhalt happened, or sorry, where the halt happened. Whereas if you're buying up near, you know, 250 or $2, you don't really know where to get in or get out. And the swings of 20 to 30 cents here and there can just chop you out. Whereas that should have been 20 or 30 cents profit and you should already be out. So happy to be back. Uh, happy to be making videos again. Uh, I put myself back in trader rehab. I am not taking any more than 300 shares for at least the entire month. We'll uh, reevaluate towards the end of the month, but I don't care. There's no excuse. Do not take more than 300. I'm gonna slap myself if I take 400, but but like I would say even that's unacceptable because what I was lacking is discipline. Um, so today I used 300 shares and I made over $100. So that's, uh, this would be what, 36 cents per share or something. So if you wanna talk about numbers, if you're using 10,000 shares or something, that would have been like a $3,600 day. And those numbers are simply big because of big position sizes. So I need to hone in the discipline with lower daily goals lower share sizes. Uh, I mean, I would probably even be happy with a 30, 40, maybe $50 day. I just got lucky today. Oh, I didn't really get lucky. I was, I was disciplined. I waited for a setup 
and then when it presented itself, I, uh, I jumped in and I took profit when I should have. I didn't hold on for too long. I didn't get greedy. I didn't like, it was, it was all great. Now, AMDA, I missed out, um, on its move here. Now I wrote here, I missed it because I wasn't paying attention. I was starting to play something on my computer while I was on the phone that had to do with the stuff I was talking about last week. That's still my own fault. Um, and I was kind of scared to lose the profits that I had just made. So that alone is not necessarily a good reason. So I should be either be taking less size or if I'm not sure of the setup, you know, size down appropriately or just don't take it. So I need to start thinking more of losses rather than potential gains because I've said before, gamblers think about profits uh, traders think about risk and potential loss. So I don't want to lose the profits that I've made uh, because 35, 36 cents per share profit is awesome. So with that out of the way, let's jump into it. Um, first trade, I can barely see it here. First trade here, BLNK right out of the gates. Um, so this is, this is what I saw pre-market. Let's it was on the scanners. It was gapping up. Uh, this ended up running huge. So it ran huge yesterday, right? Or was this today? Yeah, it ran huge yesterday. And then it, there was continuation today. So pre-market, we looked like this. So there was a nice little pivot here around 540. In my head, I'm thinking, okay, the half dollar is right here. So I'm going to jump in, you know, in the 40s have a quick tight stop here of maybe 35 or just kind of judge it on the price action and then over 550 maybe sell at in the 50s or at 60 that was the plan so it pops up here well this this looks terrible but um, it did pop up we will look at the five second candles here so so right at the open 930 the first five seconds it pops up from 45. To 55 and in the next five seconds it touched a high of 63 so I was buying here at 550 I don't know why it shows it like this oh I think it's because I clicked on this whatever so 300 shares at 550 I was in for this break of 550 let's go back to the one minute chart 550 and I just like I said in my plan I was gonna sell for the squeeze above the half dollar. Now, I wish I could have gotten in in the 40s, but whatever. So, selling here, 200 shares. I quickly sold 200 shares into that pop two seconds later, and I probably should have sold the whole thing because I instantly sold the last 100 on the way down. So let's just watch the video here. Uh, where is it? It's not that one, it's right here. So 9.30, so it pops, let's let's go back a bit. I see the volume come in, the bell's opening right now. So 47, 48, four, so I'm waiting 50 there, I'm in. 60, 200 shares, I'm out. And then I already dump the last 100 shares on the bid and thank God I did because we're already down into the 30s. So let's watch that again. This is really, really good uh, analysis of price action and level two. 49.50, I'm in. 60, I'm out. So I wait to see, I'm like, this is happening within milliseconds. I'm seeing what the price action is doing. And right away, there's resistance. So I say, screw it. Uh, let's dump the other 100 shares. Or sorry, I try and put the bump on the ask. It doesn't get filled. We drop down, I just sell it. Just like that. Uh, I hit my bailout key because I had 100 shares left, so it sold it on the bid at 552. First trade, $20, uh, which only equates to what, uh, six cents, seven cents per share, which in itself is not terrible, but you know, $18 doesn't look like a lot of money. But right now in trader rehab, that's not the point. So look, I, I see all this stuff popping up, and I so I say, okay, you know, I probably shouldn't take this. Sure, the daily looks good. Sorry, I'm really itchy. <laughs> um, I probably shouldn't take stuff that I would normally just jump into. I have to pretend that, you know, 
which I will one day. I'll have liquidity problems if I'm trying to buy in with like 10,000 shares, 5,000 shares. I'm waiting for A quality setups. The best setups, you know, this thing is squeezing up, but there's no news. I, I just didn't like it, so I didn't take it. Uh, I'm just watching, watching, watching. Something squeeze up. Blah, blah, blah. UUU has a five cent tick. That's why I didn't like this one. Like, this is a great ascending triangle. Like, there's a flat top, and it's uh, riding the nine right here. So that would have been an okay trade above three, but, you know, the five cent ticks kind of scare me a bit, and I know a lot of other traders feel the same way. Now, this candle had 200,000 shares, so maybe traders weren't that scared. But, uh... I don't know, and then BLMK starts ramping up right here. I don't take the trade yet, I'm waiting. So it surges up to high of day at, or the high of day is at 562. So I say, okay, we, we're surging up. If there's consolidation, it's gonna be a nice cup and handle pattern. There's gonna be a little consolidation and then a surge through. So I would get in for that because that is very, very strong. Uh, there was huge news that uh, Blink Charging just signed with Amazon, Whole Foods, uh, to put charging stations in all of the Whole Foods, or, or what does it say here? Uh, 16 uh, area McDonald's upgrade, 41 charging stations. So pretty big news. And on the daily here, we have room all the way from 405 in this window up to like seven bucks. So... It's, it looks great and it's strong and it has the potential. So that's why I said I would do that. So I'm looking at the ask here, 48. I'm looking for 62, 54, 55, 60. There, I'm in. I'm in 300 shares at 64. I'm waiting for this push. And then 300 shares, I'm out at 583. Three seconds later, I would not consider this a chase because I waited for the consolidation. So we'll watch that one more time. BLNK, I just missed it too. This would have been a, a really, really good five minutes setup potentially, or maybe if I was watching it quicker, I could have got in for a, a, a bigger move. But I wasn't, I wasn't about to just chase this. See, it surges up to 50, 55, 60. Okay, so now people that bought in are kind of getting scared. It's consolidating a little bit. Now we're pushing through the highs right now. And now is when I get in, and now is when I sell. I don't get greedy. I don't say, oh, this is going straight to seven bucks. I'm going to hold on. No, I'm, I'm in, out, lock the profits, and then maybe I'll get back in after I reevaluate, which is probably what I would have done here, too. If I had gotten in for this, I would have sold into this area of resistance, let it consolidate, and then if it gives me that opportunity that I just got into now, I would have taken that also. Um. I don't know if I get in this again. I miss I miss this entry. That would have been a great entry over the, the highs again. So what are the highs here? 82 or, or 84? So as it comes back up to 84, you know, it goes right up to close to six bucks. So that would have been another 10 cents. Um, I just, I, I don't know, I, I must have missed that. Uh, I took the next one above six bucks, got another six cents, very fast trade. 300 shares, six cents, so what is that? Another $10 or something, $8 with commissions. So that was good. And then I do it one more time. Okay, so I'm looking for the first one minute candle to make a new high. Now this is crucial because I get in perfect time for the first one minute candle to make a new high. And I see there, there's not immediate resolution. Look at this, look, 95, six bucks, 601. Where is it? That was the first one minute candle to make a new high. So I instantly put my shares up and I get filled um, because I don't like that. I don't like that it's not just surging back through the high of day and I don't want to be a part of this when it doesn't uh, work. So I try and get in again and there's no resolution again. So I sell and then I say, okay, I don't like this. And then look, this is what happens. So I'm really happy that I read that. Um, that was reading the price action, the level two, really, really well. We're a little far away from these moving averages. Um, and, it, and it turns out it just had to consolidate a little more. 
because once it came down closer, this one minute candle actually worked out and would have maybe given me 10, 15 cents. Um, so I, I didn't take any trades after that. Um, I missed AMDA and I didn't, I certainly didn't want to chase AMDA. Um, so I thought over 50, I think it would squeeze. Because I missed the, this is a beautiful one minute setup. So I watched it happen without me. Uh, at 225. 27, where is it? A really good spot to buy in would have been at, at 20 once this seller broke. 20,000 shares here. There. And we're already past 25, which is the one minute candle. Uh, but it, it was just, it was choppy. I, I don't know what I would have done if I was in it. Uh, and yeah, it goes straight up to 48. So, I don't know, that happens. Um, but I say, okay, so if it breaks 48, we'll keep going. I'm not chasing this. I'm waiting. Chasing it would be jumping in right now. FOMO wasn't really getting a hold of me. I had a decent profit on the day. So I said, okay, if it climbs up to 48, let's do it. Uh, 40. And it's holding 40 pretty well. Yep, the seller's being bought up. Uh, let's see what happens. So 40, 42, 45, 47. So we're about to break through the high of day. So I get in and then I go, oh shit. As soon as I bought in, someone just put up 27,000 shares and also another 10,000 shares up to uh, 251. There's a bunch of sellers in there. I don't know why my level two didn't show it. So I didn't like that. So I put my shares up on the ask. Um, and I got out. I was only in with 100 shares just in case I was wrong. It ended up being a winner. And it actually didn't end up doing what I wanted. Probably because that seller was there. So happy I did that. I think that's, that's enough rambling for today. This video is probably already way too long again. So finishing up. 121 which is really really good for 300 shares you know that's gonna be much higher i think than than most of these days uh i don't care about this right now uh this is not gonna be close like i expect so if i make 10 cents per day per share then that's only 30 dollars right so i know that the profits are going to be double digits now but you know, in the in the future, we're gonna work our way up. I just have to show that I have discipline. So I'm gonna keep doing that, and we'll see how tomorrow goes. Uh, let's see if I got this right. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Happy to be back. Hopefully you guys are trading well, or this is useful. If it's useful, just let me know. If there's anything I can improve on, also let me know. So we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.